think you need to be a constant worrier or a hypochondriac or even have an unrelenting and overwhelming fear of being eaten to know that this darkness is not a good thing. Skylander, you have awakened us from our 10,000 year slumber. We are what is left of an ancient civilization, the Archean Weapon Masters. We understood the connection between magic and technology. We are the keepers of many secrets. We have waited for one to come to pass our secrets to. That which you pursue is near. Are you prepared to cross the great chain of time? New discoveries await you. The eternal source of magic was the original source of all creations. But as we uncovered its secrets, its power could not be contained. You must prove your worth if you are to be trusted with the energy that flows through all things magic, the Quicksilver. Islanders of the air element are stronger in this zone.
You have the key. Open the gate and you may proceed. Life Skyrim to unlock this gift. a life skylander to unlock this gate.
Fuck is worse than my fight! Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. Islanders of the air element are stronger in this zone. We Archeans once ruled all of Skylands. We guarded the eternal source of magic to prevent future generations from discovering our secrets. Beyond this gate, is what remains of our defenses. The Quicksilver Vault lies ahead. It will only open when the three energy beams are aligned with the three seals. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Skylanders have a bond with their portal masters that is unbreakable, but they are not.
Unlock the vault. Use the power beams to 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 unlock the vault. Use the power beam. 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 Use the power beams to unlock the vault. Use the power beam. 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 been opened. You may at last retrieve what you seek. Use the power beams to unlock the vault. Use the power beam. 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 Use the key to open the gate. You will then have access to the Quicksilver Vault. Use the key to open the gate. 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 Use the key to open the gate.
pass unto you the very essence of all magical being, the Quicksilver. Quicksilver, to bind the magic within the core of light. Quicksilver is flowing through the core. I can't believe it. Who knew that there are still remnants of the Archeans? We did. Oh, um, well, of, of course you did. <laughs> uh, please, we must find the eternal magic source. It's the final source we need to rebuild the core of light. Can you help us? Yes, we can. I can't believe I'm speaking to a real Archean. I thought you'd all disappeared. In some ways, yes. But in others, we have always been here. But for now, you will find the eternal source of magic locked away in our ancient armory, where you will also witness the full expanse of our civilization, of our power. Would you like to go to our armory now, Skylander? Perhaps we ask too much of you. Big idea with this darkness business. That's. Would you like to go to our armory now, Skylander? Excellent. Then the Archean armory awaits you. These caverns hold much of what is left of our once proud civilization. Restore power, and you will find the eternal magic source within. But be warned, Skylander. Restoring power will also awaken the ancient Archean defenses that have lain dormant for thousands of years. Restore power. So that you restore power, so that you restore power, so that you at last it is time after untold ages of darkness. Light. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. There are many automated defenses ahead. We cannot deactivate them. There are many automated defenses. Long ago, the evil Archean sorcerer kings who lived within dark cities deep underground met their doom.
senses are alerted to your presence. Soon the war machine will awaken. You must activate this one and fight your way to the inner chamber before it is sealed shut and the war machines rise.
behold, the eternal magic source. You will find the eternal magic source in the main vault at the center of our temple. In order to unlock the main vault, three switches must be activated in smaller vaults. These vaults will require a security key card. You will find the security key card somewhere in the lower level of our temple. Find it and bring it back to the main security panel. Skylanders of the air element are You will stronger. find the eternal magic source in the main... You will find the eternal magic source. Find the eternal magic source in the main vault. <laughs> Behold, the eternal magic source. It is imperative that you now retrieve the security card. There. This vault contains a switch. It can only... <laughs> you will need the security card in... Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Islanders of the air element are stronger in this zone. Right. <laughs> 
Security card. Now bring it back to the security control panel. Succeeded. Now deactivate the three switches within the smaller vaults. Are now unlocked. You may now retrieve the Eternal Magic Source 
the final component of the core of light. Portal Master, you have retrieved the final element, the very essence of Skylands, the eternal magic source. The core of light is reborn. Shanks, you look uh, different somehow. <laughs> ah, what the? Are you kidding me? Club Shanks, Master. Club Shanks, Master. Club Shanks, get us out of here. Full speed ahead to the outlaws. Beautiful darkness! Well, I'm not beaten yet! We did it! Wowzers, the core of light finally assembled. Now a grateful Skylands thanks me again. And you are welcome. Boom! Ugh, get over yourself. Things don't feel like they're, you know, done yet. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. I see where you're going. That's because we haven't had our date yet. Double boom! No, Callie is right. The core of light has saved Skylands from the darkness, but not from the wrath of chaos. Whatever weapon or power that he used to destroy the great machine before, we should assume that he could probably do it again. It's not over. Kane Hut! Sounds like we've got a job to do. We're gonna take the fight to the enemy right where he lives. His home base! Before he can launch a counterattack. The Core of Light has revealed his location in the Outlands. I have the intel report right here. That's it? General Robot, I could positively kiss you. Uh... At ease, soldier. Uh, quite right, uh, of course. <clears throat> now that we know the location of Chaos's fortress, our Skylander can mount a final assault. Yeah, but how do you plan on getting there? Why, the core of light, of course. Are you ready to take on the evil Chaos and rid Skylands of him once and for all?
Nature wondrous. I could just stand out here all day absorbing moisture and sunlight. <laughs> Don't shoot! You Are you ready to take on the evil chaos and rid Skylands of him once and for all? Splendid! Now I'll just use the core to send you there. Hmm, let's see. I simply punch in a few coordinates here and... I guess the core works pretty fast. I sure wish we could go with the Skylander. Then we could all take down Chaos together. I agree, Callie. But I think this is something our hero must do alone. You have arrived at the moment of truth, Portal Master. Only you can defeat Chaos and rid his evil from Skylands once and for all. But beware, Chaos's elemental servants lurk throughout. Go forth and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master. Skylanders of the Fire Element are stronger in this level.
Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Islanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone.
Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Islanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone.
and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master. Apprentice, you played right into my hands. <laughs> so what if you've managed to survive and take all of the eternal sources? Big deal. If you restored the so-called core of light, it's all for nothing, because now you have followed me into my realm. And here I am, all powerful, and you are nothing. to not get squashed, you now face the most hideous and powerful of all my minions! Meet the same minion who destroyed the core of light and will do so again. Meet the beast that sent Eon to his well-deserved bodiless oblivion! Meet my Hydra!
It seems you are more skillful than Eon after all. Perhaps there is something special inside you. And I think I'll just have my brawlers bash it out of you so I can get a better look at it. with your incompetence. Actually, no, even higher. Up to here! Besides, I have three more minions who are much more deserving of this privilege.
dragon to defeat you, fool. That and my super strong, ultra destructive, all powerful mechanical suit, that is. <laughs> I don't understand it. Don't you know who I am? Haven't you heard that it's a bad idea to mess with chaos? <laughs> Fear 
my giant floating head. Fools! Release me at once or face your unimaginable doom! Do you really think this cheap magic trick can hold me? Chaos! Ow! Oh, hey! Hey! Cool your jet, small fry. We've heard enough out of you. Finally, something we agree on. You know, you're okay when you're not putting your foot in your mouth. Back at you. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna barf now. Eon? I know you're here somewhere. You and your apprentice portal master. Go ahead, send me back to the Outlands. It won't do any good. I'll just keep coming back again and again and again. Until Skyland is mine! Actually, Chaos, you're not going to the Outlands this time. Uh, what? I have something more fitting in mind for you. Hugo, would you please? Me? Oh, thank you, Master Eon. You're gonna love this. <laughs> we made a few upgrades. Okay, look, let me go and we'll split this place. 70-30, what do you say? Okay, how about 60-40? 50-50? Okay! Uh-oh, you haven't seen the last of me! <laughs> Wowzers, now that's fast. Everything's getting bigger! Wait! I'm getting smaller! What? Where? Where am I? Ah! Oh, what's that spell? Ah, a horrible monster! No, oh, Yik! Cut it out! This is no way to treat your emperor! Oh, this! You have done well, Portal Master. We may have seen the last of Chaos and the Darkness, but there is more to do. The journey with your Skylanders is only just beginning. My word! You've done it! You've actually done it! I knew you could! Wowzers, this might even make you almost as popular as me. Almost. <laughs> so much fun, extremely! You are a happy dancer. But can you make more happy? Do all Skylanders play with the highest upgrades? I can play this with you. Yep, I gotta admit it. You're pretty good. But are you good enough to beat all of my heroic challenges? When you feel up to it, come and see me. Hmm. Then maybe we'll both find out. You didn't get stumped by chaos? Hey, that was a joke! <laughs> I finally learned humor! Master Eon was right! You Skylanders will always save the day! I swear you're pointing that! But don't worry, you can't actually hurt me. Uh, you know. 
I really don't say this about people. Well, other than myself, of course, but you really are kind of amazing. Boom to you, my friend. You want to take a balloon ride with Skyland's greatest... You deserve a medal for taking down that tyrant chaos! <laughs> mine! Mine! You're not bad at all. For somebody living, I mean. <laughs> nice! First you saved my island, then all of Skylands. I guess I owe you something. Hey, do you like plankton? Jump scare. I know every time. <laughs> but man, that's the end. Well, the end of the Skylander Spires Adventure series. Um, I did say this game would be my last game to 100% complete, so I won't end up 100% completing it immediately afterwards, as soon as I finish it. But instead, what I'm going to upload tomorrow and the next day is it's gonna be like i said our fall guys video that i said i would do but obviously i couldn't do it because yeah it's still gonna be the because of that one challenge the no jumping challenge that's gonna be fun <laughs> no it's not it's probably gonna be that and it's also gonna be um what what was it um to 100% Skylanders Imaginators after we finished Spyro's Adventure. Then after that, we'll start on Giants. And then I think, or probably, well, I'm not sure when exactly, but I'll try to get Superchargers. Because as soon as I finish Giants, I'm going to 100%, or I'm probably going to start on Superchargers. Once I finish Superchargers, we're going to 100% and make a 100% completion video for Giants. Then superchargers, then my last game would actually be this game, Spyro's Adventure. Because I feel like it's more fitting to end the Skylander series with the the game that started it all. So Yeah. So and yeah, I know I didn't really show that much of variety. I mean tch, Skylanders, I mean I know it here says I have a lot, but like 
you have to understand, like, I, uh, I, um, uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I only played as four of them because the other ones were maxed out and I feel like they would just be boring to play because it would be too easy and make the game too easy, so... If you didn't know which ones I didn't have leveled up or no abilities, then literally just watch part one of this series. Then you can see which which was the four ones that I used throughout the entire game. Which were pretty fun. But to be fair, like, for the Air Skylanders, I didn't really know which one to pick when I bought them. So I was like, eh, just pick this guy. The only other guy I probably would have picked was... I think his name is Warnado, I think. Yeah, he's probably the only other one I would have picked. Otherwise, I didn't really know who to pick, because honestly, like, I, I was looking at the Air Skylanders, I'm like, bro, which ones do I even get? But then I'm like, oh, I, I should probably... And the only reason why I even got in the Air Skylander anyway, so to um to one hundred percent complete the objectives. So like I said, it's not gonna be included in this part. It's gonna be its own video. So yeah. But I'm probably just gonna end up just um or showing me getting the last objective stars in a level. And then doing the last achievement, so I'll probably do those two in a row. So, well, probably. Well, it's going to be separately, because here's the thing. I, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'll mention it again, for the, if I did. If I did already. Um, I'm going to 100% complete the objective stars on my main account. So this account I'm playing on that I got the achievements is gonna be the account that I 100% complete the achievements because I already did it for my main account already but I never actually 100% complete the objective stars on my main account so I'm gonna do it for my main account and for giants too but like I said we'll do giants first then superchargers but superchargers we're just gonna 100% complete the achievements and yeah so um Probably, I mean, I heard it's pretty hard, and I already know it's probably going to be hard because it's like a racing game, and I suck at kart racing games or whatever, so, yeah. <laughs> and, and apparently, too, I don't know why I keep saying apparently. Um, the hell is this? Uh, um... Um, what's the word? I, I completely forgot. Okay. No, I didn't. Um. What I was going to say is, well, two other things, but I want to speak about this first. Skylander Superchargers. I still don't know how it's going to work exactly, especially to 100% complete the achievements. So, apparently the game is a mix between driving and being on land, so you're not really completely driving all the time. So how it works, which I thought it did, is that you can play as any Skyland from all the games before it. That isn't after Imaginators. So, I'm pretty sure. I think. Yeah, because it came out before, before Imaginators. So, I would imagine <laughs> you couldn't play as the new ones. That would make sense. But what I didn't realize is that you have to get... I thought you had to get new figures. But you don't have to get the new figures. Because I was thinking like... Oh, there's new Skylander figures, like, and they're, like, in a car. 
but you don't actually have to get the new figures. Well, you do. You still have to get new figures. Don't get me wrong. You have to get the new. I think there's two. Well, at least two of the cars that you need, I guess, for vehicles. I'm not sure what it was called exactly. And that's it. So I can still use the trap portal that I have. I can still use the Skylanders that I have. Any Skylanders. Obviously, like I said, that came before it. And just use the vehicles and put any Skylander that I want on it. So... Yeah, it seems fun. I think when I end up buying them too as well, I might end it up um, buying probably like one Skylander. Because the only reason why I might end up buying that one extra Skylander, besides for the vehicles, is because I bought this Skylander as a child. And I kind of, when I was younger, when I had this game. So I kind of want to play him again. And you know, just relive those memories, I guess. So yeah, so in case you're surprised that I'm literally showcasing one new Skylander. At the same time, like I said, it's probably going to be racing, but like I said, it's a hybrid between the both. You're not racing all the times. Well, I'm pretty sure you're not, and it's just mostly, there's land level too, so you can actually play. So that's probably the only reason why I'm even going to be bothered to play it. But I mean, I probably would still play it anyways, but... I wanted to play it on Xbox One as well, but I just can't be bothered buying the game, buying a new portal, and well, okay, okay, I guess to be fair, that's really all I would need is just the portal, the game, and then the vehicles. But it, it would go either way because for the 360, I would need the game. And the figures. Well, I guess not really. Because for the Xbox One, I would also need the portal. Because the 360 portal won't work for the Xbox One. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so that's that. Uh. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Because, like I said, the only reason why I would buy it is just for it to look better, the videos to look better. But like I said, the problem is they're too rare, and, and I just can't be ass. Let me just buy the vehicles, the game in the vehicles, and I can't be bothered with the portal. So, yeah. And plus, in case there's any impossible achievements, I can just mod them on my Xbox 360. But I'm pretty sure there isn't. I mean, I think. I probably most likely think. Cause I think the game had online too. I mean, it's a kart racing game. Obviously, it would make sense for them to be online racist and stuff. But yeah. <sighs> but I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. But we still have giants, and then, then we'll start on our super char chargers. Like I said, after I 100% complete Imaginators and then do that Fall Guys video, and yeah. And by the way, I'm, I'm I'm basically done with Imaginators, but I'll probably just upload... I mean, I was wanting to upload it after I finished Giants, but then I'm like... Bro, just finish it after... Or just upload it after this series, so I'm probably going to upload it tomorrow. Then the Fall Guys video. Then, um... Then we'll start on Giants, and then Superchargers, then Giants 100% completion, and then Superchargers 100% completion, and then Skylander Spirals Adventure 100% completion, and we're done. And yeah, since I'm still yapping all over the place, this is something else I wanted to talk about too. So, um, the thing I've noticed is with the one Skylander that I have, which was Ghost Roaster, I never actually found his soul gem or whatever. And then I'm thinking like, oh, where the hell do I find it? 
And I'm thinking like, oh, it's probably in the bonus levels. Because the thing with him as well is that Ghost Roaster only was available, I think, with... Not by itself. I could be very wrong on that. <laughs> probably. But he also... Well, whether he did or didn't, he came with an extra, like, level pack. So... And the thing about it was, I'm assuming this extra level pack had his soul gem in it. So I never actually am able to get his new ability for this game. So I might have to go into Giants or any newer game and purchase his last ability because I was never able to use it. So, yeah. I'm not even sure what the hell it does, but yeah. I, thought, I forgot the game was paused. Uh, what the hell is he? Okay. It's right there. So, <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess I'll show you right now that I still don't have it unlocked. It's the last ability, and I obviously I got the money for it, like 7k. It only costs like 3k, 3,000. So, yeah, so it says Lingering Curse. Ghosts have a bigger range, and yeah, so, like I said, the thing is, I, we don't have the dark, like, crypt level. So, that's also something else I wanted to talk about. That I wasn't sure if I was going to play. Because the thing with this game, too, is that there was extra, like, side missions. Extra bonus missions. Like, actual levels, essentially. But, of course, you have to buy them, like, in a way that's DLC levels. In a way. So... So the problem with that was um, I couldn't really properly find where to get them online. So I would play them and 100% complete them. But at the same time, I, I can't really be bothered. <laughs> be because like I said, the thing is with all the newer Skylander games after Spyro's Adventure, you can just pay to buy their last abilities. And you won't have to worry about getting soul gems from previous games or even in that game well unless they have a new ability but that's really it well i'm pretty sure it only does that for giants i'm not sure if swap force ever did that no i'm pretty sure they didn't so yeah <clears throat> it sucks that i never got to use his ability but yeah his last his his final form this isn't even my final form where the hell were you Oh yeah, I guess you keep following him, he has money and shit. I forgot he does that. It's still annoying that when they... The money in this game just goes all over the place. It's just so random. Like when you open treasure chests and then suddenly the money just goes out of the map. I'm like, bruh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah. Um, but anyways. Bro, why you keep yapping? Just, just say your thoughts on the game and then that's that. I mean, you already know my thoughts. This is a 10 out of 10 game. Like, it's just something about the way... It's just the vibe of the game, you know? I don't know. I guess that the thing with old games is that they have that charm. Just have a certain vibe to them, you know? So, yeah. Like I said, the 100% completion won't come for a while. It will literally be my last Skylanders video. <laughs> Because at this point, the amount of Skylander videos I'm making, I might as well just become change my channel name to Skylanders Gamer Pro. Like, <laughs> bruh. Uh, like I said, if you're getting tired of Skylanders, we're almost done. We got two ga more games, and then four more 100% completion videos, and that's it. We're done. It seems like a lot. It is a lot, but it's not a lot. It's a lot, a lot. And probably the only other game I'll actually play to is Fall Guys. And in between them, so. Other than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I probably am gonna. Well. Probably not, but. Or the next day, but. Um, I'll play. Uh, I'll finish Imaginators. I'll start Fall Guys. Or play Fall Guys for a bit. To do that one challenge that I had. 
and then we'll go from there. I mean, but yeah, in this soundtrack of this game, I mean, the soundtrack, like I said, in all Skylander games are bangers, but this is just this game, this Skyland. If I were to say which Skylander game had the best, best soundtrack, it's easily this game. Like, oh my god, bro. I would say Giants is a close second. A very close second, but yeah. I think I think Spyros Adventure just easily easily just outclasses them. But that's not saying that the other games were bad. They were still all bangers. But yeah. I mean it, it's like trying to choose your favorite child, you know, like which game has a better soundtrack? I don't know, bruh. But Every, but like I said, Spyro's Adventure is still the best because I kind of have to pick it because nostalgia boner, but you know, yeah. But otherwise, I would say Giants, if not for Spyro's Adventure. But yeah. Um. Anyway, something happened. Fun fact, too. This was going to be a seven-part thing, but I'm deciding because... I only played for like, I mean, Chaos only took me 30 minutes to beat, and yeah, so unfortunately, I had to edit this video, because I didn't realize I would beat him that quick. I thought that boss fight took a lot longer than I remember. I mean, to be fair, I was using overpowered Skylanders, but I mean, I mean that's the point, though. I mean, by the time you get to him, you're, all your Skylanders are going to be maxed out, so it's like... But, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I was cheesing it a little bit. But, I mean, you know, we're going to showcase this boss again. And it might make myself uh, throw my controller. Because, okay, well, not really. But, you know. Because there's, the last achievement that I'll probably do is when you have to beat Chaos essentially without dying, basically. And where is it? Yeah, so it's right here. Defeat Chaos without swapping Skylander. So, basically don't die. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, the achievements in this game are really easy. But, might as well do it because I feel like it. So. <laughs> but like I say, it, it, I might not actually start on it until the next pff, month almost. Next couple weeks. So, yeah, he do be like that. Because I want it to be my last video. Skylanders video, so yeah. And then, and sadly, I gotta sell everything again. But yeah, but that's it. We're done with Skylanders. Like I said, I might come back to it someday for Xbox One. And see what the major differences are. I mean, it'll probably be way, feel way better. But the problem is, they're just too expensive, too rare. And they probably will get more rare. But I don't know. Maybe someday when I get a better job. I'll probably buy all the games. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be broke. But I'll buy all the games. and That are on Xbox One. Well except maybe Swap Force. Because it's going to piss me off. That I can't 100% complete it. So maybe just Trap Team Imaginators. And. We'll see about superchargers, I guess. I mean, it's sad that Giants and Spyros Adventures is not on Xbox One. Because I would buy that in a heartbeat. Or if they would remaster. Everyone keeps asking for remasters. Will they fucking listen? No. But yeah. And they should give the option to people where if they want to play the game... With the portal and with the figures or not. And to be fair, if you're not, then are you really experiencing the game? But yeah. And the way they could do that is just make the game like... Like, I'll just say like... Or make the game digital. But make the game... Um... Well, I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> How they could remaster this game without probably putting a billion toys on the video game shelves in stores again. Because I can already remember that being probably a mess for 
employees who work there having all these toys. I can imagine people stealing them too. <laughs> I mean, imagine being that down bad and you start stealing toys. <laughs> the <To> sale. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But yeah, I'm done. So, honestly, I'm excited to start Giants 2. Because like I said, Giants is my second favorite game in the series. So, yeah, we'll start that. Um, Do that and already yapping the same stuff over and over. I already said what I wanted to say. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for the Skylanders Imaginators. Probably the worst game in the series, but I haven't played Superchargers yet, so we'll see. But I think it's probably the worst. Well, I would say it'll probably get a point, some points back because you can play as Crash and Cortex. And they're pretty fun to play. Well, at least Crash. But <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, by the way. He's like, what? But anyways... I have to edit this video, and um, and I'm gonna head out. So um, yeah, peace. All right, before I actually go, though, since I'm editing this anyways, just recording this after the fact. Um, <laughs> it feels so weird to come back to this game though, and probably Giants too, after playing the newer games that has jumping, because. It was so weird for me to try to get used to attacking and how play, how these Skylanders attack. Because I'm so used how they attack, they, even in Swap Force. Because Swap Force, Trap Team, even Imaginators, they were all the same. And I would imagine Superchargers, too. So, just going back to this one is just so weird. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was mostly weird for Skylanders that I already played. So the ones, the four that I used for this series, it, it was fine because I'm just learning how to play them. But then for all the other ones, I'm like, bro, what is it? What's the button for this? What's the button for that? Because for all the other newer games, they're all different. It was just kind of a shit show. So also why I restrained myself to only playing four. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, I just couldn't be bothered swapping all the time and. Like I said, they were all maxed out on their abilities and stuff, and yeah, it just do be like that. Yeah, I hate that shit from me, though. Um, I mean, I already did my outro, though. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just about to say it again, but cause that's for sure it. Yeah, just, just yapping. Yapping, am I done yapping? Cause I just wanted to talk about that because, like I said, it's just it's just weird. You know, it just feels weird. It does it, you know, because they had to change the controls because of them adding a jump button. So only took them up to up until the third game to do it. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm for real. Finally gonna head out this time. So yeah, peace.